The easiest way to send an email to all of your contacts or a group of your contacts is to use the email scheduler. And you find that in Seller at Marketing, Email Marketing, Schedule Emails. And this is the screen that you'll see here. So you can see here's an email that's been sent previously and it shows the list of contacts it was sent to, the subject of the email, the date that the email was sent, how many recipients there were, how many times the email was read, and there's various other things here. So you can view the email, you can see how many times each link on the email was clicked as well. So let's see how you actually do that. So the first thing you need to do is create an email. So to do that, you do that in edit mode. Modern emails are basically web pages, and so we use the same web editor for making emails that you use to create your actual website. And it's tied into the theme that you're using on your website as well. So if we, uh, we go into edit mode here, and then we click on the at symbol on the left. Then we're gonna create a new email. I'll just click in there and type new email. Click on add new. And then you wanna click on the name of the email there. I will click on new email. And so by default, this particular email has just got a header and footer. So if I click on content blocks icon on the left, and then click on the plus icon there. We want to add some blocks. I'm just going to add uh, a banner and some text underneath it. And then underneath that, I'm going to add an item list as well. So then if I close that pop up the screen and refresh, and you can see already the email is looking quite good. So let's just limit what items are being shown in the item list. So click on the folder icon there. I'm just gonna show uh, action cameras there. Click on save changes. So there's our list of cameras. Uh, to change any text, of course, you simply type over the text. See our range of action cameras below. Obviously you'd probably write something a bit more comprehensive. There we are, click on save changes. And so already we've got a nice looking email with a picture. Obviously you can change that picture to be your own. And there's a list of items there and the footer at the bottom. You can click on all these icons to set these exactly as you want. There's some things that are automated such as the unsubscribe link uh, and that's just there automatically. So we've created the email there. If I just go back to the scheduler. So all I need to do now is click on create new email enter a subject, check out our amazing action cameras, check out our amazing action cameras, and then I just select the new email I just created. So you see that the email is now scheduled, by default it's scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So, uh, and to all contacts. So you wanna be really careful with this. If you do nothing at this point, that email will be sent to all contacts at 10 a.m. tomorrow. That may be what you wanna do, uh, but if it's not, then make sure you change it at this point to the list that you want to send it to. Let's say list 21, and you might wanna change the date and the time that it is sent. And when you make any of the changes like that, click on save changes at the bottom. If you wanna view what the email is gonna look like, then you can click on the view icon there. And if you want to edit the actual code that's generated by the email, then click on the edit icon there. There's, there's something really important about this though, uh, which is that when you schedule an email like this, it copies the email from the email designer. So you can then go back into the email designer and change it uh, for your next email if you want. It won't affect the one that's already been scheduled to be sent because that's been copied down here. And so anything you do to, in design mode now won't affect the email that's gonna be sent. If you wanna change the email, to be honest, it's easier just to delete the scheduled email uh, and then edit the email in the email designer and set it up once again here. So that's how you schedule an email. You wanna use that to provide really interesting information to your customers and prospects and remind them that you're there. You probably have an inbox yourself full of emails from huge companies uh, and uh, there's a reason why companies send lots of emails and it's because it does generate sales. So make sure you send your customers and prospects really interesting information and hopefully the same will happen on your website too.